Let's take the next easy question. The question says, Anil invests some money at a fixed rate of interest compounded annually. If the interest occurred during the second year and the third year is 806.25 and 866.72 respectively, then the interest in the fourth year will be nearest, nearest equal to what is the question? Now, certainly this is the question which deals about, which deals with the compound interest, which deals with the application of compounding. <clears throat> Each year or possibly year on year, the interest on interest will also be levied. I repeat, the interest on interest will also be levied. So certainly let's assume, um, so let's, let's look at the change that we are looking at in terms of interest value. 806.25 is becoming 866.72. I repeat, 806.25 is becoming 866.72. If I assume 806.25 is my principal, next year principal and interest is, uh, is, uh, is uh, adding up to 866.72. So my interest on interest is how much? This is 866.72 minus 806.25 which is 60.47 is the interest which I have gained on the already interest amount of 866.72 which can, I can also assume it to my, be my principal. Clear? Now this value is close to around 7.5 percentage which means 7.5 is the compound interest which will be levied year on year. So if in my second year the value is 806.25 in my third year my interest is 866.72 then the fourth year will basically be 866.72 plus 7.5 percentage more which is 107.50 percentage more and this value will certainly add up to closely 931.5 or 0.6 the closest answer that you can mark for this question will be option number a for this question <clears throat>